Hello everyone, this is King of Cobra 73, and welcome back to the Mississippi State NCAA 16 Dynasty. I'm sorry this hasn't been out for a while, there has been a bunch of issues I've been dealing with, but you know what? It is here, so let's do this. Let's do this finally. I'm sorry for the issues, I'm going to have an update video, I hope that update video is out by now, but knowing me, it probably isn't because the issues I've been having. So here's your over offensive rankings right here. Mississippi State, the better team, except in rush offense. But we are going to get into some gameplay here soon. I'm going to, when the intro comes on, I'm going to shut up. So here we go. Hello everyone, welcome to Davis Wade Stadium. This is Starkville, Mississippi, where your Mississippi State Bulldogs take on the UCF um, Knights. And look at this, the Knights are ranked 24 in the nation. I will say I think Blake Bortles did that a little bit for them a couple years ago. But we'll see if they can handle our Bulldogs. I don't think they can. UCF wins the talk and they, talk and they like to kick. So, Mississippi State home opener and the Cowbells are alive tonight. They were banned last week, but they're available at our home stadium. So here we go. Here's the kickoff, and boom! The Mississippi State season has officially started at home. The first kickoff, the kickoff is going to be taken back to the uh, 25, 27-yard line probably. Gabe Miles on the return there. And here comes our guy, Dak Prescott, who threw the ball 41 times last week. Three touchdowns, but I believe he also had three interceptions last week. So here we go. First play of the game. And it's going to be a flash off the Gus Wally, the tight end. You don't see him much. Second and five. And here we go with the next play. And it's going to be a handoff to Ashton Shumpert. And he gets about five yards. And you hear the band playing. Shumpert's, there's such some stats right there for the year. First and ten. Ball on about the 31-yard line. We're in the shotgun, and it's a handoff to Ashton Shumpert again, and he gets stopped behind the line. That is a loss of two miles pace on the stop. And here we go, second and 12. We're still in the shotgun here. Let's see what we're going to throw up here. And, and Dak is back to pass, and that's a pass to Donald Gray. And Donald Gray with a huge 25-yard gain. First down, Bulldogs, go state like the band is playing right now. First and ten, after that huge game by Donald Gray, we're still in the shotgun. Cuss, coach, and then that's Donald Gray again with about a 16-yard gain that time. Coach Derek Wolf, new offensive coordinator, Gus, Coach Gus, wow, I've I'm, I'm, I'm seen Gus Wall on the field. Derek Wolf likes his shotgun plays, and there's Ashton Shumpert again with the gain of three. Okay, let's do this, Bulldogs. We're looking great on our first drive. But yes, Coach Derek Wolf, he really likes his shotgun plays, doesn't he? And look at this, a shotgun again. And look, and what are we going to do here? We hand off to Ashton Shumpert again, and he goes nowhere on that one. The Knights were expecting it. Justin McDonald on the tackle. Third and seven. And we're in a shotgun again. And looks like a screen display. And it's going to Ashton Shumpert catches it in the background. And Ashton Shumpert fighting for extra yards. That is about a nine-yard gain. And that is the first down for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Go State. Dak Prescott, four for four with 55 yards right now. Let's go State. Let's see what else we have. Win a shotgun again, and that's a handoff to Brandon Holloway, and Brandon Holloway gets in the end zone for the 12-yard run. I did not, I did not see Holloway check into the game, but that is a touchdown for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And we're back on offense now after the UCF scored a touchdown, 
And Joe Morrow with his first catch of the game. That is a six yard reception. And it is second and four now. Second and four. We're in a shotgun as usual. And let's just see what the Bulldogs draw up here. We, we, and it's a play action pass. And it's going to go to the fullback. Not the fullback. The tight end. And he tries to hurdle. Darian Hutchinson tried to hurdle to the, the Golden State. Golden State. Golden Knight defender. And let's just look at the replay on this. Dak gets his playoff. And Dak took a shot. Hutcherson, Dak put that exactly where he needed to go. Great throw by Dak. He just tried to throw it and he got upended, but he gets right back up. Darian Hutcherson is a tough SLB, guys. Now we're second and 11 here. And we're in a shotgun again. And that's a handoff to Ashton Shumpert. And Shumpert loses four yards. Oh, this is not good for this player. He was a great player last week. Third and 15. What are we going to do here? And it's a deep. No, Dak. He throws the pick. To the UCF Golden Knights, and I believe that was meant to go to Deronna Wilson. Back on offense now after UCF does nothing with the ball. And Ashton Shumpert, he's struggling, isn't he, guys? That is a one-yard gain right there. He fought for a little bit, but seven rushes for two yards. He is really struggling today, isn't he? And this is third, second and nine. And was that an incomplete pass? It, it was. Okay. So now we're looking at third and nine, ladies and gentlemen. And we're still in the shotgun. I'm just giving it to Donald Gray. Donald Gray is the hot receiver. And there it is. There's Donald Gray. He is, he is working out the slot, but I would start him. He is pretty much the best receiver on this team, in my opinion. Second and ten now. We're still in the shotgun. And it's a screen to Ashton Shumpert. And Shumpert, he could get something on in the air, at least. Third and three. Just run the rock, coach. Just, just let them just run the ball to Shumpert. And it's a play action. What is he doing? And... They run a Wilson in a tight window drops it. We're back on first and ten. Again, UCF does nothing with the ball. But that's a ten-yard run by Ashton Shumpert. And that is a Mississippi State first down. Go State. As you hear the band in the background. And we first and ten again. And it's uh, Dak. What was that? He hurdled in the backfield for no reason. It was a read option play. And he gets five yards on the carry. I believe without that jump, he could have got more. So just just give it to your hot hand, and there's Ashton Shumpert, and he his struggles continue. And you know what? That one wasn't his fault. Third and six. That was just bad blocking on that play. Third and six. It's a shotgun again, and that is a tight window. But Deronna Wilson, the best receiver on this team, catches it. Dak Prescott put it exactly where it needed to go. Second and eleven. Ball is about on the fifty yard line, and Dak took a shot. But there's the tight end, Gus Wally again. And I really like this guy, ladies and gentlemen. I know he doesn't play a lot, but when he does, I really like this kid. He makes good plays. And we're going to give it to Brandon Holloway again. And not even Holloway gets on. That's fourth and three. That's going to be fourth. And we're going for it here. The Bulldogs can go for it. Derek Wolf is saying, nah. we ain't. And Dak Prescott gets it, but barely. Four-yard gain. So going for it on fourth down pays off. I really like our new offensive coordinator, guys. Derek Wolf. He was, oh, there he goes, and I'm sorry about that. That was a mistake. But Deronna Wilson with the 14 yard game. Derek Wolf ran out of the shotgun a lot when he was coaching at Manatee. And if you can see it, it transferred. From, and Ashton Shumper was probably his best run of the game. Eight yards, and actually, that's not his best run of the game. His best run of the game was about. And that's Brandon Holloway again, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Holloway with the second touchdown of the game. Eight yard rush. And I think we just need to put in Brandon Holloway. Why not? He is just doing great. UCF scores on their uh, sec next their drive. Tying the game at 14-14. And that's a play action. And D-Runner Wilson. Not D-Runner. Oh, I'm sorry. Dak Prescott hit Darian Hutchinson. How did I get that mixed up? Ha. Huh. Production was right last week when they said I needed water. But what is that? Production is thinking about firing me, guys. Um, What do you think about that? I don't like it. Um, okay, so that's Dak, and that's Fred Brown. Hey, Freddie Brown. He had a great game last week as well. So second and four. Let's see. And we're going to have a read option again, and there's Dak Prescott, and he gets nothing on that play. And we're going to hand it off to Ashton Shumpert, and he gets nothing. Okay, 
Eston Shumpert is just struggling, ladies and gentlemen. Derek Wolf, I know you don't like pulling players early in the game, but I think you need to give it to the hot hand right now. Give it to your hot hand. Brandon Holloway, see what he can do. Here's the punt. And that is a, that's a great punt. And it's going to bounce into the end zone for a touchback. That's unfortunate by Bell, but hey, you know what? Whatever works, works, right, guys? Sorry for that cut. That was a mistake on my part. So, we're going to watch UCF drive now. This is the first drive we're going to watch UCF, you know? And there he snapped the ball. The quarterback snapped the ball. Yeah. Justin Holloman sacked. Okay, quarterback Justin Holloman. Sorry guys, this is just it's it's been a real struggle with this thing. So Justin Holloman was sacked for a three yard loss and here we go, second and thirteen for the UCF Golden Knights. Ball back on the eleven yard line, maybe and he gets it. Oh, that was almost intercepted. By Talando Cleveland. That would have been six. Third and 13 for the UCF Nets. And there are the cowbells in this stadium, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear them. And they are loud. And he just hands it off. Huh. They hand it off to William Stanback. And they get seven yards. But that is not enough. So the Dak Prescott and the Bulldogs can get another run at this. And... Jack on first down. He's going deep, ladies and gentlemen. Donald Green, that's no. It's intercepted by the Golden Knights. Oh, no. Donald Gray and uh, defender Shaquem Griffin battled for the ball. Let's see the replay. Let, let's just show this replay. They battled for the ball, and Wilson, who has height, just snatched the ball out of the air. That was a great interception for the Knights. That's what they needed. And now they have the ball about on the 40 yard line. So let's see what they do with this possession. Set the ball. UCF is playing safe, it seems, but I don't know why. And William stand back and he gets hit hard with a massive shot from the Mississippi State defender. I'm not sure what they're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. He he was it was like he was playing the clock. And that is just unusual by a quarterback when the game is this far in and he's gonna drop back and that's a great throw by Justin Holloman wait it was dropped it was dropped oh wow that was just bad on the receiver but the cowbells are loud once again and this is third and nine and let's just see Justin Holloman's in the shotgun they snap the ball he's gonna get sacked no he has he hits receiver. That's a first down for the Golden Knights, ladies and gentlemen. William Stanback, his running back, he threw a check down to his running back, and he was able to get the first down. And now Justin Holloman bringing his team to the hurry up, and he's calling a different play. They're still in a shotgun, and he snaps the ball, looking for a receiver. He's gonna do this himself, but no, he's gonna end up getting sacked, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Jones with his second sack of the game. Game tied at 14. We have 25 seconds to halftime, ladies and gentlemen. But this amazing game for the Bulldogs. Holloman out of the shotgun now. And they're going to, he's going to try to do it himself again. But this time he got some yards. He got five yards. Third and nine. Here come the cowbells. Wait, here's just six seconds left. Call a timeout. Call a timeout. What are they doing? And he's going to go to the end zone. But he does what? I, I I don't understand the play call there, ladies and gentlemen. UCF had one timeout remaining, and they wasted it. They could have taken the lead here, but you know they're getting the ball back. I, I, I would have taken the lead. I would have taken the lead, kicked my field goal, and then go into halftime. But it's halftime now, ladies and gentlemen, and here's your halftime show.
you feel like it is going to be a great second half. And boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sound of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with the call. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the ball. UCF scored on their opening possession. But this is second and four, and Aston Schumpert, he loses another yard, and he is just struggling today. Jaquan Burkett on the play, third and five, and it's going to be another screen. Coach Derek Wolf loves his strings, doesn't he? But Aston Schumpert actually can get something on here. That's a 17-yard reception by the struggling running back. <coughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, production, I don't care what they're telling me. They're telling me I need some water. But that is Eris Williams with his first carry of the game. That is interesting, and that was the wishbone formation, I believe. Eris Williams is the third running back on the roster, and he just got a carry. I wonder if Coach is noticing that Shumpert is struggling, and he gives it to Shumpert. Shumpert catches to the outside, and Shumpert gets a huge 23-yard gain on the, on the screen, and that is his fourth catch for 56 yards. Shumpert is doing some work on these screens plays. And there's Holloway again. Holloway with a 10-yard. That's a first down. That is a first down, referee. You know what? We'll take it. Second and inches. And that's still Brandon Holloway in at running back. I really think Coach is saying that Holloway is doing the better, is the better running back this game. That is a first down for your Bulldogs. This is first and goal now. This is an empty backfield. And that is a touchdown to tight end Darian Hutcherson he was wide open what a play by Dak Prescott and now this game is tied up at 21 21 and there's Dak Prescott he's gonna take and Dak Prescott is gonna go isn't he Dak Prescott with a huge lane and Dak Prescott with a 43 yard game what a run by the Heisman runner by the Heisman contender yes I'm calling him a Heisman contender he's not an official contender but in my eyes this guy is a Heisman contender he's a Heisman candidate he should win it all and I'm not saying that because I'm a homer first and 10 ball on the 15 yard line it seems and that is a touchdown to Deron Wilson he Dak Prescott threw it exactly where he needed to be his second touchdown of the game and you Mississippi State retakes their lead 28-21 and we are with the ball again. Second and seven. And that is Donald Gray again, ladies and gentlemen. I really like Donald Gray. Uh, and he's injured. Well, that's not good. And just, just, I, I don't like this play, guys. Cause, and Shumper gets the first down, though. But he's been really struggling today. I don't know why Derek Wolf has him in. I would have benched him by now. And that's not a knock at Shumper. He, he's a great back, I believe. But he's just been struggling today, and that's the end of the third quarter. We're starting the fourth. Shumpert's still in the game. Play action to Shumpert, and there's the dump off to Freddie Brown. And Freddie Brown with a spin move. What a spin move. What a play by Fred Brown. Yes, I call him Freddie. First and ten. And it seems a read option to Ashton Shumpert, and he gets about five yards. No, three. I lied, apparently. Okay, well, Shumpert actually getting something now, so... Maybe, and Ares, after Ares winning his second carry, that is third and eight. But maybe Coach is thinking something. That's something. I don't know. And that's a screen. That's Brandon Holloway. And Brandon Holloway's going to score later. Just dive in, and he powered his way in. That is a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Let's just see this replay. He just powered himself in. Are we going to see the replay, ladies and Please. He just powered his way in after he got the lane. And I will say, I think Holloway is faster. Then Shumpert, but Shumpert is stronger, and he powered his way in that end zone. What a play by Holloway. Six minutes remaining in this game, and that's Donald Gray. He returns, and that's a 13-yard reception for Donald Gray. That's his fifth catch for 74 yards. It's 
second and ten now. And that's Darian Hutcherson again, who's having a great game for a tight end, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to do a screen play. No, not a screen, an uh, option play. That's one yard by Dak Prescott, and it's fourth and five. Will Coach Derek Wolf go for it? No, he doesn't. Um, after we receive the ball back from a punt from UCF. It is second and seven now. Ashton Trump for getting something on the ground, but not much. And Dak Prescott is trying to confuse the defense. And he, I don't know who that was supposed to go to. Joe Moore with his second catch. I think that may have supposed to go to Gus Wally, the tight end. But Joe Morrow, hey, do whatever you have to do, kid. And we are in the wishbone formation once again. And let's just see who who is they going to hand? Who are they going to hand it off to? They they are running clock here, and that's going to be Brandon Holloway. And Holloway tries to juke the UCF defender, but the defender costs were smarter of it, and he wrapped around. So it's going to be another screen. Third and seven. And we're not getting anything on that. That's fourth and 11. UCF got the stop they needed. But they do nothing with it. They did nothing with it, huh? Second and 11. And that Dak Prescott pitch it. Ashton Shumpert and... Oh, third and one. A first down ends the game. I'm giving it to your hot end, Brandon Holloway, right now. Dak gonna wait until the play clock goes down. Please, coach, give it to Brandon Holloway. He's in the game. Give it to Brandon Holloway, coach. And it is gonna be to Brandon Holloway. And Holloway gets the first down, Lidgeman. That is the ball game right there. Here's your final play. Dak Prescott's gonna take a knee. And the Mississippi State Bulldogs have knocked off the number 24 UCF Golden. Bulldogs. Brandon Holloway, your player of the game. I would think ESPN made it. Dak Prescott, that's what I would think they were going to make it, but they gave it to Brandon Holloway. That's who I gave it to as well. He has two rushing touchdowns and one receiving touchdown. And here's his first touchdown. So um, the Mississippi State Bulldogs knock off number 24. Not really an upset in my opinion. I think Mississippi State was just a better team. And here are your stats game for the game. And look at the running back comparison. 2.6 for Ashton Shumpert. He just struggled today. And Prescott and Holloway did most of the rushing on, the, on their own. Prescott with that big 43-yard run, though. And ladies and gentlemen, okay, like I said, I hope the update video is out by now for for my issues or why it's taking out so long. But, yeah, I had some issues with this computer and everything. But yeah, I, I I hope the update video is out right now. Actually, I should upload it now. I should. If I even still if I even still have it on my computer though, because my computer pretty much it, it died kinda. Well, not really, because I'm using it now. But again, I'm gonna explain everything in the update video. Um, two series are ending though. If it, if the update video is not out by now. Two series on my channel are ending, which is unfortunate. So, yeah, that sucks. But a new one should be starting soon. Actually, it will. I, I know it will because I, I recorded some of it. So, yes. I, I hope you guys are... I, so, yeah, that was the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, yes, the video is shorter than... What was that? Like, 43-minute video? The video is shorter this time. Because I got Sony Vegas to cooperate. This game, was, what was this, about 24 minutes? Something like that. I don't know. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day. And just look at the stats because that's what I'm showing you right now. <laughs> um, Will Redmond got to take that's good. Um, Yeah, that's our best corner. We just, I'm just showing the stats. I think that's going to be the end of the video. Well, not this right here. Pretty sure the stats are how the video ends. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.